Hey guys, Megalithic Maiden JJ Ainsworth here, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of Quiquilco in Mexico City, and it's a temple for the wind god. Okay guys, so here at Quiquilco, I'll just tell you a little bit about it. So some of the features in this building are unique for the pre-classic period. It's 110 meters in diameter and 25 meters high. It's built of uncarved volcanic stone blocks, some of them weighing about 30 kilograms each. And they're joined with zero lime mortar and the center is soil. So they're saying it was built between 800 and 150 BC in three stages, at least eight of which have been identified. So they think there were large groups of people here, and they think that at the top it may have been used for religious ceremonies, and this is not unusual in Mesoamerica. So there's two access ramps, and they're located east to west, and each are aligned with autumnal and the vernal equinox, just like the central altars from each building stage. So you can see the ramp there, made of the stones, not, not very large stones. And so we're going to come down here and take a look at this little thing that's kind of like a kiva. And you know, Native Americans in the USA also use these. And I'll just get over there. Yeah, so hopefully you can See that? So they think maybe this is from about 150 BC and it's made of large cobblestones out of the volcanic rock. They don't know, they think maybe it's a ceremonial bath, maybe a sweat sort of like a sweat lodge sort of thing, or perhaps even an astronomical observatory. They just don't know. But it is on the inside. We can't go in there because they've got it all blocked off because of COVID. But it is all around inside of that. So it's circular in there. hard to see. Apologize for that. So it's quite old. Um, 2,200 years old or so estimated. Something like that, this part of it. Now the pyramid itself uh, much older. So in uh, I think it's the year 1923 the National Geographic uh, ran a article saying that the dating for this pyramid was actually 5000 BC and that sort of caused a bit of an uproar and that was oh look at that little bee um that caused an uproar just a people began frantically researching the site trying to figure out you know ago oh this or 7,000 years ago 5,000 BC that is amazing how did you know they wanted to know but 1923 datings are not quite as accurate as the ones today and so now they've sort of pinned it down to 
about 3,000 years or so ago. And um, let's look down here in this little trench. Now that is interesting. Look at that. That's really nice. Look how deep that is. This is really beautiful. A lot of work <clears throat> went into building this. And like I said, about 200 AD, the site was sort of abandoned because of um, the volcano eruption that occurred. And if I turn around here, I'll show you that this area is just full of uh, volcanic rock, just full of it. And of course, you know, they even used volcanic rock themselves on it to build it. But this, this pyramid is just really nice. You know, you can look at images of it, but you just don't get the full extent of it. Like me right now, I'm quite surprised at the depth of it here. <laughs> And, oh, there's some excavation happening over there. What's, what's all that? What's all that? What's all happening down there? Oh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, there is also a security guard right there. But there's that down there. What to do, what to do. I just bide my time because I know I want to see what's under that little tarp and I think you guys probably do as well so if he moves along I'll do my best to get a bit of stuff for y'all interesting maybe I could cause a distraction Hmm. Let me think on it for a minute. Figure out what I can do. Y'all don't judge. Don't, just please don't judge me. I, I want to learn as much as I can about these ancient sites. I don't want to damage them. I'm just so curious. And if you're watching this video, you probably are as well. It's interesting because this is just right in the middle of Mexico City. It's just uh, amazing that there's a highway just right there. And there's sort of a um, satellite little area to this. I think I found that. And it's just a little bit past the way that I entered but it's not really, it's kind of overgrown. Okay. This is just Mexico City, but the altitude is, I can kind of feel it. 
it's of course it's nothing like a Peru or Machu Picchu but still feeling it okay enough about me let's go on up here passageway here. Interesting. Alright. And so, this is basically what it's all about here. Round pyramid. Uh, round little area to go into here almost like another sort of kiva. There is a raised bit right there and not, you know, that might have been for uh, the public to see whatever they needed to see at the top and this here may have been limited to the elite or whoever, shaman, king, whatever. So let me see. So there's a little looking like tunnel thing down there. Let me see. <clears throat> if I can get a little bit of bright over there. I don't know. A little bit brighter. So yeah, there's a little tunnel entrance way down there. interesting and you notice these softer sort of round uh, stones up here and you know they may have been heat stones where you heat them and bring them in if it's a sweat lodge anyway that may have been what it was for Low and rectangular altars, only between 40 and 130 centimeters high, are located at the center of each structure corresponding to the various building stages of the great platform. They were placed on an east-west axis, almost certainly following the sun's trajectory in the sky during each equinox. Shrines were built from perishable materials once protected the altars. Until recently, five altars had been located, four of which correspond to the first three building stages of the platform. They were built of pressed soil stained with cinnabar, which is a very important color, the red. Red pigment of great ritual significance that was most likely brought to Quilquilco by traders. The fifth altar was built with cobblestones, and the last cobblestones, cobblestones, yeah, cobblestones, and the last one found almost completely in ruins. Sorry, guys, <laughs> was possibly built of volcanic rock. The fifth altar was built with cobblestones and the last one, found almost completely in ruins, was possibly built of volcanic rock. So only half of this has been explored, by the way. But there's so many sites here in Mexico that it's going to take them so long to get through, through them.
Hey, this tape is no good news for me. <sighs> Sorry about that. So I'm in the passageway. I'm not really supposed to be here, but I'm kind of done anyway. So if I get kicked out, that's what it is. Keep in mind, I'm not trying to damage the site. I'm just curious. So we can see the soil here along the walls. And then let's see in there, there's So this seems to me like it's some sort of kiva, some sort of ritual. I better make my exit. And here are the stones I was talking about that might have been ritual use because they're different than the other stones. And this might have been a ritual passage. Probably was, it's quite high. Yep, so I made it.